The evolution of tongues, the evolution of traditions, customs, they all derive from this place, the same place, don't you see? Even if we hate to admit it, we are connected. We are two hearts pounding for the same purpose, both striving for the same goal and for one equal ambition, happiness. Once upon a time, we were one. Once upon a time, we toiled and toiled to create a better place for our families. A new generation who we hope would surpass any boundary, any obstacle that would emerge from the unseen. So why then must you push that border between our races farther and farther down our throats? Why then must you invoke fear in the many immigrants living in this nation by covering them with a blanket of racial slurs and profound judgments that are unbearable even to the most stone-hearted man? It is no joking matter, my dear friend. Families are being broken. Mothers, fathers, hermanos, hermanos, tias, tias, abuelos, abuelas, all left with a spear of deportation painfully piercing their heart. Today, this is how many emigrants live, covered in this blanket that targets them as illegals and categorizes them under this status. And even if you might not believe so, we belong here. In past times, when Mexico owned this land, we were here, and now we are here once again. But not to begin war and take back what is ours, but to work together to make your world and my world, and the world of future generations a better place. So no longer must you penetrate our souls with stone fists. Stone fists that can damage even the most godly or ungodly creature. Open your eyes, mi hermano. Mi sangre y tu sangre, they are the same. And even though that is what keeps us alive, by pushing us away, you are taking our hope and our last gasp of air. No need to push us away, mi hermano. Instead of embracing our differences because differences is what makes us all unique but at the same time it makes us one feel our pain brother we're being removed removed not only from the country but removed from our dreams deprived of sleep caused by intense thoughts and worries that overwhelm the mind and permeate like dark clouds thundering down into lonesome night resonating with the voices of our children crying of starvation this is the most piercing and intense pain that can be felt when your bridge of ambitions is falling to the ground along with your family, when your family was dependent on you, and the burden of confusion and desperation takes rule of your heart, then, brother, then is when you have felt pain. But the mind of an immigrant is not, the, is not that of a man that views things negatively. It is the mind of a, of a wise man with the heart of a warrior. A warrior who fights in the most unfavorable situations just to bring food to the table. For that reason, I have come to appreciate a quote that, one, that once I heard that says, you ask for money while I ask for a job. For me, the simple quote has great significance. Significance in the way that el que busca encuentra. We search and we find because it is true to us to keep the American dream in hands. That is all we strive for and never will we surrender ourselves to, be, to begging for our pride is great. As long as we have hands that can work and a heart that still beats, we will toil and toil persistently until we can no longer do so. We all want to cross the bridge of burdens to reach the American dream. The dream that sets rivalries, but that also sets brotherhood. So I said to you, hermano, why live a foolish life in hate, of hate when we extend our arms for you for aid? We are connected, we are one, yet we are so different. If a blind man is able to see and a deaf man is able to hear, through senses that neither you or I can fully understand, why then must you restrain yourself from feeling our unbearable pain? <laughs>